Hello again, tool plays gamers type people. Long time no see as far as this is concerned. And if you can't tell, I'm playing a little Minecraft today. Uh, this is actually the third time I've done this. I've had some audio video issues that I've been kind of working through. But yeah, this is the, the Minecraft world I've been playing on for, I don't know, about a month now. Uh, I actually played on the latest snapshot at first because I didn't know, hadn't had enough experience, that if you go from the snapshot back to the actual game, it clears your inventory, clears your chests, <laughs> clears pretty much everything. Now luckily, before all that happened, I had built up a nice little base of operations, so as you can see, you know, I've got some stuff on me, I've been able to sort of rebuild a little bit, and as far as that base of operations, well, I started over in that direction when I first started, and as I was just sort of running along, I stumbled into a village. <laughs> so yeah, I, I've done a little bit of uh, modifications here, you know, making things a little easier to get around. When I first came to this little place, I was like, oh, I'll just stay here for a minute, you know, I'll pop in put in a little bed and a chest and stuff in here. I stayed in that house for just a couple of days, and then I was like, you know what? Rather than wasting a bunch of time building a house, why don't I just get to the rest of the game and, and other stuff? So um, I started looking at the other houses in the area. This one, you know, is okay, but I didn't really like <laughs> walking into the roof. I may redo this at some point. This one was pretty nice. You know, it's got bookshelves and everything, and it's not a bad size. But then when I came down and around the corner, this quaint little thing, that was ominous, <laughs> this quaint little house really caught my attention. It had one door, I upgraded it, had a nice little layout, had a, a nice little balcony with a good view. I'm talking about this like it's, you know, real estate, but it's it's Minecraft. Anyway, so yeah, uh, as you can see, this is just where I'm kind of staying at the moment. Uh, I've got a little food chest, I've got a, an enchanting table, a couple of furnaces, chest full of random crap, chest full of cobblestone and dirt and whatever else, crafting bench, little breakfast nook, my sheep buddy outside, and yeah, outside I've got, you know, little wheat farm, uh, potatoes, carrots, whatever else, and uh, sugar cane, yeah, infinite water supply, never hurts to have, little fenced in backyard area, probably ought to at some point put a, uh, a fence gate in here, I just haven't done it yet. Um, one of those things I think I was considering before I lost the whole world, or no, well, I lost the contents of my inventory to an update. But anyway, um, this, you might be asking what what the crap is going on with these two things. This is actually an automatic nightlight, a uh, street lamp, actually, I guess would probably be the better term. You see you've got a, four redstone lamps here, and then a sticky piston with a redstone block under it. Daylight sensor on the top says that when the the sun goes down, daylight sensor trips off, sticky piston brings up the redstone block, turns all four of these on. Really straightforward. I actually saw a tutorial on YouTube somewhere doing it because I was just looking around for different ways to put in lighting and I was, I was thinking about using the redstone lamps and that seemed to fit the bill. I had tons of redstone. Nothing in this has been cheated in. This has all been, you know, exploring around and finding things. Uh, I've done a lot of, a lot of digging. Uh, such that, you know, I've got this whole little area way down there, it goes all the way down, and I've got a nether portal down, nether portal down there, and uh, like you saw probably in here, I've got some diamonds, I need to go get some more iron because I think, yeah, I don't have that much armor on, so I may, may go do that next, but yeah, um, I just sort of wanted to give you the quick once over, show you where I've been and what I've been doing in terms of Minecraft, oh yeah, got a little cactus patch down there, cacti, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so this is my just my little home away from home as it were. Uh, when I'm not doing this, if I'm playing Minecraft, I'm probably on one of the multiplayer servers. I play on Mindplex a lot. I don't have a lot of, you know, credits or experience or anything on there, but I've had a lot of fun just, you know, going around playing the dragons or the snake or paintball or anything else like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing any of that, I might, might upload some games from that. Just playing around and having fun, stuff like that, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, I've been working quite a bit with this guy, the shield tablet, just uh, trying to figure out what else I can do with it. And it's got built-in uh, game streaming features so that I can stream to Twitch or I can record locally. Unfortunately, the recordings I've made out of it have not been great, and I've had some issues, so I haven't done anything with them yet. I may go ahead and upload some of those in the next few days just to have them up there. But... Uh, 
yeah, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and call this a day. Uh, actually, what I might do is go ahead and cut to the end of the day so you can see these things lighting up just because they are kind of neat. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back. It is getting later in the day at this point. Uh, sun is finally going down, and we should see here in just a minute, as you can see, the moon starting to rise. So this daylight sensor should trip off here in just a, a few seconds and raise that redstone block up. And when it does, of course, all of these redstone lamps are going to light up. There you go. That was very straightforward. So yeah, all you got to do, uh, daylight sensor, sticky piston, redstone block, and then uh, four redstone lamps. You don't have to have all these extra pieces, but they make it easy to get everything up and off the ground and make it kind of emulate an actual street lamp. You could technically do it with just one uh, and probably some different redstone mechanism, but that was a good way to get, you know, a lot of light. And I had a bunch of redstone, so I made a bunch of redstone and redstone lamps and blocks and everything. But yeah, that's uh, going to be about all for me for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to take my little character to bed in here, and uh, I will see you next time.